What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to y'all with another tarot reading. Like before, go ahead and like my channel, subscribe, do all the shit I need you to do, because we're about to get right into this one. Let me preface this reading by saying I absolutely love Trina, and I watched her over the years of her career, <clears throat> you know, being in certain relationships and... I really do feel like she truly wants to have her person. She truly wants to have her at last. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I want her to be able to have her children, you know. I want her to just have that family life that she has been looking for. Or the family life that she seeks. Now, she just got married. Um, what, a couple weeks ago almost a month ago <clears throat> and I wanted to pull on this because as far as I knew wasn't she engaged to another man before she come up with this young man that she got but that ain't my business I guess that ain't my business I am not judging her I am not um limiting her I'm just a little confused and that's not me shitting on her that's just you know at first she was <clears throat> engaged to the dude that she had on Love and Hip Hop with her. I know y'all like, oh, that was seasons ago, but she was still just engaged to another dude. She was just getting ready to marry him. My point is, and I'm not saying she should wait around and all of that, because I'm all for older women moving quickly. If some shit ain't working out, then get the fuck out of it. My thing is this. I think that Trina only married this man because she's getting older. I think that she rushed into this situation. I think that she said yes to the first man that <clears throat> she knew would really, really go through with getting married. And they had a real quick shotgun like wedding. And I'm not saying it was cheap or no shit like that. Because she might have had her a nice big reception or something like that. But from what I've seen, she, you know, they just filed for the marriage certificate. So they just basically said their I do's in front of the justice of the peace. And there's nothing wrong with that. But... <clears throat> If she really felt like this situation was going to last, wouldn't she have done it a little bigger than that? I'm just saying, this is just my opinion, y'all. This is just my goddamn opinion. Don't come for me in these comments. I'm just giving my opinion. This was rather swift. And as swift as this relationship began, even if she say, oh, I've been with him two, three years. I've been knowing him for 15 years. And he, you just pulled him off the bench, sis. And you expect him to be some good now that you let him marinate all this motherfucking time? He's just been sitting back watching you take nigga after nigga after nigga, but you expect him to come and act right over here in this situation. That's weird to me. But, like I said, I think it's because she is getting older. Trina, like, what, 47, 48? <clears throat> she wants to have a family, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just think... And what I've interpreted from her cards is I think that she rushed into this situation. Um, she's got the world card in reverse, strength card in reverse, and the judgment card in reverse. All of these are very, very, very bad cards to have in reverse. First of all, the world card being in reverse shows that her life is out of balance a little bit when it comes to this relationship. Y'all know that she just said that she didn't sign a prenup and shit and she didn't got with this man and well we gonna get into a reading I, I'll, I'll relay it to y'all through the cards so it won't look so much like it's just my opinion there is a real lack of motherfucking um achievement in her life like I said she feels like um she's missing something that man or that husband and the children is something that's really, really important to Trina. And this is why she rushed into this situation. Could be why she's always rushed into situations. Um, love Trina. I think that she's beautiful. All of that. But the judgment card is in reverse. And I almost already knew this. I almost kind of knew that she kind of had a little bit of low self-esteem anyway. When it comes to certain things about relationship, does she think she ugly? Of course not. She knows that she's beautiful. But when it comes to her not having a man and children, at that time, because now she's married, but she may have made a lot of the choices she made surrounding men in a rushed manner 
because she had that clock ticking. Y'all turn them motherfucking clocks off, okay? You can have babies up until whenever the Lord tell you it's time to stop, okay? Don't fall into this trap, okay? I fell into that trap. I got married literally because I was 35 years old and was divorced or working on a divorce by the time I was 36. I don't want to say the same thing is going to happen to Trina because that would be very much projecting and I don't want it to seem like I'm projecting, but this ain't going to last either, y'all, okay? Trina rushing off into shit also points to her self-doubt and self-confidence and her feeling inadequate. Maybe she's got a lot of friends that got a husband and kids and she's feeling inadequate in that circle. And she like, I want to have me a nigga now. And I'm going to have me a nigga now. And the first nigga that say the right shit to me and do the right shit, I'm going to marry that motherfucker. And that's exactly what it's giving because I told y'all they are not going to last. <clears throat> this is a train wreck waiting to happen. And again... I want Trina to win so bad. I want this to be Trina's at last so bad. I want this to be the father of her children. I want this to be the man that she's married to until the day that she died. But it is not. This ain't that. This is a rush situation that is going to fall apart very quickly. Um, this man, although he's a different man, he's pretty much like every other nigga that then broke a heart. There's no real difference in his behaviors other than he's telling her what she wants to hear so that he can keep her there so that he can get what he came to get. Because I'm going to be realistic. Her, her cards with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, people told her it's not, it was not a good idea to marry this dude. People really, really, really tried to get in the path of this and stop her from marrying this nigga or even marrying this nigga. She's even gotten to arguments or disagreements with people because people are seeing this man for what he is and Trina isn't because she wants this to work, okay? That's why that devil card is showing up as well. And of course, yeah, the devil card doesn't mean something bad all of the time, but in her spread, it does. It shows codependency, you know, powerlessness. Remember I just said she just gave this nigga all the access to her money. Like, Trina, I, I I love you, but baby, is that with the Diamond Princess approve of that? I'm just being realistic. All of that shit she rapped about, you, you giving a nigga some money now? I don't care that this is her husband. She giving him access to her money with no prenup. Baby, again, with the Diamond Princess approve of this. Anyway, she was warned not to fuck with him because he's got so many inadequacies. But because Trina is who she is and she has the money that she has, or at least she tries to lead like she has the money that she has. Let's just say that because we don't want to be like, oh, motherfuckers is, is da 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 da. I'm sure she's worth a bunch of money. Like, I'm not saying that the girl is broke, but spirit speaks of in her her spread them living a lot out of their means and it's because he ain't bringing nothing to the table it's almost like a nikki and ken situation going on trina feels like i bring enough to the table to feed both of us i can carry this load by myself and let him get his shit together you know she didn't fail for his representative basically so he hearing her saying oh i can take care she can take care of everything He's not going to do nothing. So, of course, they've gotten married. <clears throat> but it's a thing of him being reckless and lacking discipline. And I, I, I think that it's because he's so much younger than her. He's very much so emotionally immature as well. Um, Trina is being very vulnerable with him. But he's too insecure or is going to be too insecure to be able to handle it now. He um, is... Um, tolerating it for right now and well, let me go back because i think i pulled some that told y'all a little bit before i was supposed to but i'm gonna go back to those cards i mean he's cool with it now let's start at the beginning of their relationship and shit though he's cool with her being in charge her taking care of everything all of that but anyway they um they're in a pretty cool spot you know she didn't feel like she didn't met her at last things are favorable or were favorable during their courting period or whenever she started kicking it with him or kicking it back with him um she's definitely in a mo uh 
illusions phase. She's in that honeymoon phase. Right now, everything he does is cute. They're not no real disagreements right now. Things are running smoothly because he know he got to play his position so that he can get what it is he came here for. Keep going. Let me, let me cook. I'm finna get there, y'all. Like I said, Trina done fell for his motherfucking representative during whatever courting period they had. Again, I don't know if it was two months or two years, but either way, Trina was not supposed to marry this man. He was just supposed to be somebody that she dated for right now. And then when it was burnt, when it, when it ends, it was supposed to end. There was supposed to be no connection, but there's going to be a connection. Let me get to it. But he didn't told her a whole lot of what she want to hear and then sweet talked the shit out of her and made promises of the world to her. Promises that he has no intentions on bringing, nor can he bring. Okay, we're going to get to that in a minute. And told her so much that he didn't, he didn't convince her to marry him, honey. So while right now they're in a very lovely space and they are um, in their honeymoon phase, that is going to change very shortly, okay? And I know y'all like, damn, you say that about all of these niggas, but a lot of us choose the wrong nigga multiple times, over and over and over again, don't we? Uh-huh, sis, that's why I say it. And I'm going to keep on saying it. Because sometimes I have to remind myself not to choose the wrong nigga just because I'm getting older. And this is what Trina has done, baby. But this lovey-dovey marriage, this get-along, this perfect union, and this mutual respect that they have going on, it only exists because he has access to Trina's money. When things begin to change and that Sagittarius energy wakes the fuck up in Trina, watch what happens. Anyway... That lovey-dovey period that they are in is not going to last. It's going to come to an end very quickly. Um, but let me go backwards. Let me not skip ahead too much. Um, like I said, Trina has led with the fact, even though people have told her that this man is not really who she should be with. This is somebody that she should have played with, not stayed with. But she feels like regardless to what he does not bring, what he does not have, this is why she's giving him access to her money because she wants him to feel equal when it comes to finances. This man ain't got shit, okay? Like I said, Trina with the Diamond Princess approval, you supporting a nigga? Going to get a nigga that you got to take care of, got to give access to your money. That don't even sound right, honey. It sounds rushed. But anyway, like I said, people warned her against him because he's emo emotionally, emotionally, excuse me, immature. And he ain't got shit, y'all. Okay? They are really in an imbalanced power dynamic. Was the nigga homeless? Was he was he a couch motherfucking warrior? I mean, maybe she chose a little better than that. I mean, let me not play my girl like that. Maybe he was like, uh, maybe he the top dog down there in Florida, one of the top dogs. Maybe he's no doubt a hood nigga, okay? And, of course, Trina is going to show up and show us how much money he has. This is my husband's store and da 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 All shit she will have paid for now because he ain't got it like that, okay? Or at least his money ain't equivalent to Trina's, which causes an issue for them. Thing is, Trina gonna be over there taking care of a whole lot of shit because this dude, with whatever money he does has, he's gonna be stingy with it because he's gonna feel like Trina has much more money than him, so why should he have to contribute? See, that's going to result in him um, being real wasteful with money, making bad investments, you know, because he's not used to the money that Trina has. And they are going to be doing a whole lot of, Trina, excuse me, is going to be doing a whole lot of spending trying to keep this nigga here. And she's going to start getting tired of that shit. Like I said, she's going to try to make it look like he got some shit going on financially, but he ain't even going to be working, honey. Trina going to be carrying that bag, which is going to make them live a little bit out of their means. And eventually Trina will get fed up with the shit. She's going to become overwhelmed and they'll start arguing about it. Because like I said, all that shit she rapped about in her motherfucking music, I know the fuck you lying. You over here, you done, you done, girl... Anyway, them fights is going to lead to that heartbreak, honey. Me and the relationship going to get start to get boring because Trina going to be nagging him too much. She's going to become too much of a wife, and she's going to remind him that she's 9 or 10 years older than him. No, she's more than that. He's 34. She's 47 or 48. He's going to remind her of that age difference, and 
that that's gonna be a problem with Trina because she still looks good, okay? But looks good for now because when we tend to hook up with a toxic, fucked up ass man, we lose our looks, okay? She'll spend a lot of time crying and having anxiety over this shit breaking down. Oh, my husband, my husband, but he's a terrible ass husband or he's going to become a terrible ass husband, emperor in reverse. Shit gonna be embarrassing to Trina because here I am again going through this motherfucking loss or this emotional bullshit with another nigga. This time, this is my husband again. What? Why don't older women have a response for us women that are younger, even us in our 40s? Where's the what's what's the fucking response for when you do it right? When you don't have no children until you get married, you get married, and then this is the piece of shit you fucking marry. Should she stick this shit out or what's what's the procedure, bitches? Oh bitches, tell me. Because y'all left that out when y'all were telling women you need to get married. You need to not have no kids because if you had kids, another man ain't gonna raise it or whatever bullshit the people around y'all told y'all. That's just the shit that they told us. Or told me, okay? What happens when you marry this motherfucker? Should she continue to be embarrassed by him in the long run? Because that's all it's going to be. Well, eventually, like I said, she'll get fed up and she's going to leave that relationship, okay? That marriage is not going to be there that long. Shit, I give it a year. No, that's really terrible, but I give it a fucking year. And they'll be done with. However, before they are done with, they going to go back and forth. They ain't going to just break up with each other. But they're going to be back and forth in that phase of we broke up, we together, we broke up, we together. But they're going to maintain that they're completely separated. Well, that ain't going to go on too long because Trina going to find out that she's pregnant. And there's a very real possibility that she's going to have twins or become pregnant with twins. And she's not going to want to speak on it too soon. Because she's lost a couple children, okay? She's had a couple miscarriages that were real, real detrimental to her. And it really put her down bad when she lost that baby by Lil Wayne. Y'all remember back in the day when they broke up and shit, how skinny Trina got? She would be on some more shit like that. She would be really skinny and not eating and looking really sad the way that she was when she and Lil Wayne broke up. I think that was one of her greatest heartbreaks. She getting ready to walk that road again. Thing is, it's some shit like she's been down this path before. This man is no different than any other man that has broken your heart. Except this time, this man gonna give her the babies that she wants. And I guess that's the beautiful thing about the rush. Fast relationship shit. She'll finally get the children that she wants because that's really what she wants. Trina wanna be somebody's mama and she getting ready to be a mama. Here she is showing up with the pregnancy cards. You know, the Queen of Cups is pregnant too. And she's not going to speak on that pregnancy. That's where I was going with. She's not going to say something until she's shown. We're going to obviously know that she's pregnant, but she's not going to speak on it until she's far enough alone that she feels like she's out of the woods for a miscarriage. And like I said, she'll probably have a set of little twins, twin girls at that, y'all. Again, I fuck with Trina, but this relationship ain't gonna work. Oh, babe. All right, y'all.